Good evening, viewers, and thanks for joining us for another great episode of Coca-Cola Sports Scene. Yes, we're down here at the Lloyd Robson Oval, witnessing the match between Targao and Hall of Flies. Yes, Women Rugby League for you. Great action happening down here. Now, we have a great show lined up for you for this week. We have the pro boxing titles that happened yesterday. Yep, we have all the results for that, so stay tuned for that. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. And also, State of Origin Game 3. Everyone is psyched for that. I know you all are just waiting for Wednesday, and we take it to the streets to see what you, the viewers, think. If Queensland Maroons can make it eight consecutive wins or the Blues are going to cause an upset for this year's series. Now without further ado, we kickstart this week's show with the Sporting Briefs. In the Sports Briefs this week, Saturday at the Lloyd Robson Oval in Port Mosby saw so the final showdown of the 2013 Oceania Cup between the PNG Pukpuks and Cook Islands. Both sides went into the grand final undefeated throughout the tournament. In the end, it came down to sheer determination as the Cooks held on to defend their lead. A late comeback by the home side almost looked like the Pukpuks could come home. However, the Huta ended PNG's hopes to retain the cup as they suffered defeat at the hands of the visitors. Cook Islands this year's Oceania Cup champions beating PNG 39-31. Meanwhile, in round 14 of the Digicel Cup, Vipers played host to the Tigers at the Port Mosby Rugby League Oval on Sunday. A much physical match it turned out as the Tigers led at halftime 10-6. The second half was dominated by the Vipers as they snatched the lead and never looked back. Vipers defeated Tigers 26-16. In the other matches, Wigman beat Murugs 30-24, Gurias were victorious over Sapia 32-22, Lahanis 23 beat Miox 10, while the Lions 16 defeated Eagles 4. the sporting briefs for this week and congratulations to the Cook Islands for taking out this year's Oceania Cup. Well, we'll go for our first break. Don't go anywhere. Coming up on the other side, we have the pro boxing titles. Welcome back and you're watching Coca-Cola Sports Scene. Now, as promised, we're going to take a look at the pro boxing titles that happened last night. And without further ado, here it is. The professional boxing titles were held yesterday at the St. John Guys Indoor Complex in Port Moresby. In the super middleweight category, Victor Lani took on Toxie Seteme. It ended all too soon in the first round as Lani put down his opponent in the space of 1 minute and 22 seconds. Rounding off the PNG titles was the match between Douglas Wallow and Kevin Bucky in the light welterweight division. The fight had the crowd on their feet as Wallow and Bucky exchanged punches. A couple of words. And glares. Wallow beat Bucky claiming the title. In the Asia-Pacific middleweight title, John Declam went up against Yosefa Kakao Navalo of Fiji. Declam defeated the Fijian, however, he was overweight in the category and could not claim the title according to the World Professional Boxing Federation rules. In the featherweight title, Central Province's Joe Cara took on Melvin Lee De La Cruz Soriano of the Philippines. It proved the match of the evening as both boxers fought the entire 12 rounds for the title. It took a while for the judges to determine a winner only to find out that both boxers were tied on points and thus both declared winners. 
In the international rematch, the Super Bantamweight title was fought out between Manus's Jason Hayu and Dado Kapintoy of the Philippines. A hard-fought match, however, Hayu had to retire, Cabin Toy winning the title. And there you have it, the pro boxing titles at the Sir John Guys Indoor Complex last night. If you were there, you'd agree with me, there was just great, great action. Congratulations to all the winners. We'll go for a break, and when we come back, we talk to you, the viewers, about Game 3 and your predictions. Welcome back to Coca-Cola Sports Scene. Now, as you can see behind me there, that is the bench of the Hall of Flies. Women's Rugby League, great action happening down here at the Port Mosby Rugby League Oval. Now, we take it to the streets as you, the viewers, give us your predictions for State of Origin Game 3. <laughs> Maroons. <laughs> I'm meeting a kid bro, James Maloney back on side. I'm a sabot in Maroons and a Cameron Smith. I'm a king. You're the one about finals score. Blues, blues. Uh, final score by 28 10. I tip for the New South Wales to win because they are desperate to win after seven years and uh, the scoreline will be Blues 24, Maroons 10. I support Maroons. I think um, Maroons is the layer team for state of origin. It's in particular with Greg Bird. Now for Cross. Goes to Fonday. They're going to make it. Fonday's in to score. First try of the night. Samuel Fonday. Well, it goes away to Pierce again. Lewis a tap down to Hayne. Hayne's over. There's the first try of the game. Jared Hayne scores his eighth. Uh, Mr. Sabotim Blues. So tomorrow I'm Blues put in one blood try. I'm from me yet. So me yet, me by my mass. Me Sabotab, I'm long time Sabotab, me a title Sabot. One day more, picking me from me. The meeting is like that, but score the first try. I'm a room to put him on us because me Sabotab of Blues. So me still Blues by put him. I'm sorry. Eh, Mara, Mara, come and sit. Blues boy win. Meeting was a try back on was a Maros all but 28, not by eight. Blues by eight, now Maros but 28 meeting was him because all that was me last time we looked in because all the test and the man all last time all some bagger up, but now all me looking was all play last time all play like how the Cowboys team all me looking all play good. So we saw some all Barros will win long uh, 28 now. Blues will come up long uh, 8. 
σκόδα στα βοσίμητη. Μη σου από τη μαρούν σου πει δώσει. Πε τι έμεμε, όσο μόλι αλλού. Να σου έκανα τέτοιο έμεμε, μόλι αλλού. Μάρου σου τα γίνει. Μάρου σου τα τέρι σου έχει το πρόβλημα μα. Κάνω σε εμά και 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 εμά εμά και εμά και εμά εμά Coca-Cola Sports Scene. Unfortunately, it is the time when we wrap up another great show for another week. Thank you for joining us and hope you enjoyed the show. A reminder, the Coca-Cola 500 ml is only 3 kina, so make sure you purchase that 500 ml more Coke value. And um, yeah, it's a wrap for this show and um, hope you can join us same time next week. As for me, I am going to continue watching this game behind me. Yes, it's half time and it's back into second half now. So um, yeah, we'll be watching this match between Tarangar and Hall of Life. So until next Monday, we'll see you on Coca-Cola Sports Scene. <laughs>